Today we're going to create a new road and look for any locations along that road that might be excessively steep. We don't want to exceed, say, a 15% grade. We have percent slope visualized on this map where lighter colors are steeper. We're going to build our road more or less along the contour rather than going straight up or down any of these areas. First, let's have a look at our to-do list. We're going to first create our new road then we're going to densify the line feature, which means we're going to create vertices that specify distances, in our case 100 feet. We're then going to split this line at these vertices so that each 100 foot segment has a beginning and an end point. We're then going to add surface information so that we can calculate the average slope along each one of these 100 foot line segments. So first let's create a shape file that we're going to use as our road. So right click on our working folder, new shapefile. We're going to make this a polyline. We're going to call it new road. We're going to give it the coordinate system NAD 1983 UTM zone 19 north. Okay. And that will be automatically added to our uh, display. Now we're going to right click, edit features, start editing. And now we're going to create features. If we don't have this tab, we can go editor, editing windows, create features. We're going to select the new road. We're going to create a line. We're going to begin it from the end of this old road. We're going to try to avoid the worst of this slope. Click to end, and now editor, stop editing. Yes, I do want to save those edits. So now we have our new road segment. Once this gets done loading, we are going to densify this line, creating the 100 foot segments. So we're going to search for tools, densify. The input feature is our new road. Our distance is going to be in feet. And we decided 100 feet would be our segment length. We're going to turn off our public roads layer so that loads faster. Make this a nice bold red. So now we are going to take our new road and we are going to do our next step, which is split lines at vertices. So we're going to take our new road. We're going to call this new road segments 100. Okay, good. Now if we close that, we can turn off our old new road, change over to our new new road segments 100. And if we open up this attribute table, we have all of these line segments. Each of these is uh, about 100 feet in length. Because there are vertices here already, the uh, road turned at certain points. Some of these are going to be less than the full 100 feet. That's all right. So this one began at a vertex and ended at one of the new vertices that we created. We're going to deselect that because if we left it selected, the next step would only have acted on that one selected feature. So our final step 
go back to our to-do list, is to add surface information. Input feature is the new road segments 100. Input surface is our state 10 meter digital elevation model, or DEM. And we want to have the average slope. We are already using an elevation model in meters, so we don't have to change the z-factor. If we were using an elevation model in feet, we would have to change the z-factor to 0 0.3048 and that would convert from feet to meters. OK. And now our new road segments should have a new attribute that is average slope. This is in percentage. You see, just looking at this, most of this is under 15%. It looks like all but one segment is under 15%. Let's see where that is. So that's right there. So right when we're going up the slope here, we would probably want to divert that road to avoid that steepest area of the slope. Now let's display by quantity so we can visualize the slope all along this road. So right click properties. We could have also double clicked here. Go to the symbology tab, quantities, little graduated colors, value fields, average slope where lower slope is lighter, higher slope is darker. So now we can visualize where our steeper areas are. Steepest is darkest. So most of this road has relatively low slope and just a few areas have these steeper slopes that we might want to divert the road from these nice straight uh, high visibility roads into something that would account for the slope a little bit more. So this allows us to find where our steepest areas are for driving. As we're going along here we could look to find the areas that have the steepest slope in the uh, along the fall line, which is straight up and down, rather than going across the contour. And at these locations, we might add a guardrail.